of the strange tuning. Um, there was invented by um, Bruce Palmer, who is um, who is the bass player for the music in Buffalo Springfield. A lot, a lot of nice songs have come out of it, like four and twenty years ago, come into this life, the song of a woman. And he wasn't into selling door to door, and he worked like the devil to be more. My dad uh, was into uh, the big bands, you know. He used to book them when he was in college. He would, uh, he would, he booked Paul Whiteman and Benny Goodman and Fletcher Henderson and all those people through the Midwest, you know, Indiana and Illinois and so on. And, uh, and so he had a tremendous collection of, of, uh, of old, old records. Now, I like eclectic music, you know. I like things that have roots where you can hear the roots, you know, and you're really aware of, of where it came from, you know. I'm from the South. I walk 47 miles of barbed wire. Use a cobra snake for a necktie. Got a brand new house by the rear of the side. Made out of rattlesnake hide. Brand new chimney on my roof made out the human skull. So all you take me by the hand, tell me who do you love? Who do you love? Well, there's a radio station uh, that a few English people know about, uh, most of the musicians, uh, WLAC in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, it was the R&B station. And it's Randy's Record Shop in uh, Gallatin, Tennessee. And they used to play rhythm and blues records all night, you know? And it was so much better than listening to Dick Dale, right? And uh, and all of that, you know, jive that was coming on the other stations, and you know, I'd stay up really late after studying because they went on till three or four in the morning, you know. If you leave me, baby, tell you what I might do. Step and kill somebody. Come on home to you. Take out some insurance on me, baby. Take out some insurance on me, baby. Cause if you ever, ever said goodbye, I might phone right on and die. I played rhythm guitar for a band called the Continentals when I was in high school. And I got to sing two songs, and they were both blues songs, and all the rest was, you know, Dick Dale rock and roll, right? And we played the, all the, we played fraternity parties at the University of Florida. And we played, um, we played bars where I would lie about my age, which was virtually impossible because at 15, I looked like I was maybe 11, right? And, uh, and, and you know, we just kicked around, you know, kicked around the music. Oh, my. And, and, you know, we just kicked around, you know, kicked around the music. Bought myself a brand new airmobile with was custom made like a coupe TV with a powerful 
your mood is up Hide away with Push it on the button and you can make her sing You can't catch me Well, you can't catch me Cause if you get too close You know I don't like a cool breeze There's a turn back in the wee wee hours I was rolling slowly cozy Whistling showers Here I come flat top You come rooting up with the moon Waving goodbye something low Souped up to left my foot in my tank Gonna beat it to the toe Bone inside was swirly Stay full troll So I let out my wings And I blew my horn Bye bye New Jersey I become airborne And you can't catch me Baby, you can't catch me Cause if you get too close You know I'm gone like a cool breeze Well, in New York, there was, a, there was a bunch of little clubs About five or six of them uh, Maybe a quarter of the size of this room Where guys, uh, where people could go And play uh, folk music and pass the hat. And that's what I did. No, you got to run. No, you got to hide. Don't know who to follow. Who is on your side? Don't know where you're going. You won't talk to where you be. And when they see you tomorrow, never more again. Seen you in the cities, seen you on the road. Your face is all a twisted, cause your brain's a heavy load. Then you turn and ask me, how will I ever know? Talk about your searching, but I think it's all for sure. I've always dug the uh, long neck frailing banjo, which I can't play. <laughs> right. Uh, like, you know, Grandpa Jones, and, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, that song was written uh, eight years ago in the village. I used to go and hope that I would make 15 cents in the first couple of sets so I could go across the street and have a slice of pizza for breakfast. And I would work from about 7.30 until uh, about uh, 4.30 or 5 in the morning. And uh, it rained a lot, and it was cold, and I got sick a lot, and I was 20 years old, 19 years old, didn't know what in the hell I was doing. You know, I had no idea what I was, but I just knew there was something there, you know, something. There was a movie house down down the street, all, 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 all the folks, that, all the poor poor guys, who didn't have their their stuff together uh, would play, and uh, Hard Day's Night came on, right? And uh, so you know, and everybody just you know went yay, and John Sebastian went out and formed the Love and Spoonful, and the birds happened, and they were all over the radio, and uh, and we all, and I headed for California, you know we we all started thinking about playing rock and roll again, you know, like we used to do when we were kids, you know, and getting off of the, of the purest folk music kick, you know, the, the Woody Guthrie, Pete Seeger kind of, uh, uh, you know, state of mind about it. And one of the first songs that I wrote when I got out there was that that, that whole attitude, that thing that sprang out of Greenwich Village that was an immediate hit 
uh, off of the Beatles on every creative person that was in the village then, right? Who were, they, you know, everyone was stuck in this folk music thing, right? And Hot Dusty Roads is like a, a it's just, you know, it's an expression of where I was at at the time. I don't tell no tales about no hot dusty roads I'm a city boy and I stay at home I make no excuses I just don't like to roam and I don't like being alone I give you love in a place take off your shoes it does a thousand things for the kiss of the blue it ain't no club, you don't have to pay no dues You just love me and I love you And if you take some pride in being alive And you're interested in looking inside of yourself Just go on by me and ask me I've lived everything I've written. Honestly. And it's like, uh, or observed it. Observe somebody else going through those changes. It's in everybody. Those, those feelings and those thoughts and those reflections and those those, you know, and the ability to, to sing or paint what the mass can't do by themselves. And that's how people get hung up. That's why people love music. That's why people love art. That's the reason that there is art. If you're for the sake of the audience, you're the monkeys or the Grand Funk Railroad or this or that or, or or something, or if you, for the sake of the art, you know, you're the Beatles when they did it, you know, when they did their thing. I consider myself an artist, you know, and there's a certain amount of magic, and there's a certain amount of technical ability, you know, and when you find the place between the two, then for yourself, you'll find your little groove, right? But I can't allow myself to become wholly dependent on that for satisfaction in this life. Otherwise, you know, I'll become totally frustrated. I, you know, I, I, you know, be, be a maniac. You know, I've got to have other outlets, and I have them. Hold it, come on, come on. Come on. Major. Major. Well, he used to be a, a chaser. And, uh... I don't think he really takes to jumping. We was poor when I was a kid. And, uh... I picked up about, uh... Five bucks a day as a groom. He just keeps me fit, working so that when I get back home, I can go back to the track. I work Belmont, Santa Anita, to get away from this rock and roll scene, you know? Yeah. Gets to be a bit of a bore after a while. Hot, 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 hot. To me, it's essential <laughs> to divorce myself from my art <laughs> and find some different form of expression, be it playing a game of football or I'm working a horse. I'm work every horse that I work is a different creature. It's, there's horses that are gentlemen. There are horses that are bastards. You kick me, I'll kick you back. Come on, come on.
what it's worth was a result of a the fact that Stephen Stills was brought up partially in Latin America and saw governments fall and rise and fall again and you know dodged machine gun bullets myself you know because me and my dad were in a town and everybody started shooting and I was off hanging out and I was trying to get home and it was you know one of those you know get back to the hotel alive kind of things and there was you know it, it was nitty-gritty but and 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 that was when I was 14 15 years old right younger even and I uh, so you know I went back to America and everybody was really alive and uh, in uh, Hollywood California of uh, the the commercial merchants on Sunset Boulevard in a certain area decided that the element of young people that was on the street every night was not conducive to commercial enterprise. What actually happened was just a bunch of kids got together on a street corner and said, we aren't moving. Then about three busloads of uh, Los Angeles police showed up who looked very much like stormtroopers, which is what the Guardia Civil in Nicaragua looks like. And I looked at it and I said, Jesus, America is in great danger of turning politically to the right, to the fascist right. For what it's worth was written in 1964 and it said, hey, there's a revolution. Nine months ago or so, I saw a film on BBC uh, that was smuggled out of South Africa by a group of students. And, uh, well, I was raised in the South. And, uh, like I said, I got bricks thrown at my car and got called nigger lover a lot for you know, because I wanted to go down to the ghetto and listen to the blues. And basically, I like black people. I was raised by black people. I learned to play music from black people. I don't think that the Black Panthers or, you know, going home and getting the guns is the answer. That ain't where it is, you know. We got to do it different. I really think that this generation is capable of nonviolent revolution, Bring, bringing about change without bloodshed, without all of that tremendous loss of, of personal, of individual life. But I saw that film, and I got so mad that I really understood how you can get there to where it really doesn't matter, to where it's so infuriating that you'll go and get the gun 
and kill the sons of bitches. So I wrote the song, and it's called The Word Game. to hear what he knows Well it's happening right here people dying of fear by the droves And I know most of you either don't believe it's true or else you don't know what to do or maybe I'm singing about you Who knows It's incredibly sick You can feel it as across the land it flows Move along quick It furthers one to have somewhere to go Prejudice is slick when it's a word game It festers and grows You can feel it as it's rumbling Let emotions keep it tumbling Then the city start to grumble And mostly empty bellies grumbling Here we go See somebody different Fear is the first reaction show Till they think they got him licked The barbaric hunt begins And they move in slow A human spirit is devoured The remains left to carry and crawl And yet history remains I was told that life has changed Or do we shrug it off and say Only God knows Try and help, but they don't know why folks treat them cold. And the rich keep getting richer, and the rest of us just keep getting old. You see, one must have a mission in order to be a good Christian. If you don't, you will be missing high mass for the evening show. The harvest of the polluted seeds they've sown Smug and self-righteous They bitch about people they owe And you can't prove them wrong It's a goddamn show they know I have seen these things with my very own eyes And defended my battered soul It must be too tough to die American propaganda, South African lies Will not force me to take up arms, that's my enemy's pride And I won't fight by his rules, that's foolishness besides His ignorance is gonna do him in and nobody's gonna cry Because the children, they are growing up and plainly tired of putting up with bigots And the silver cups that fed up them, I throw up on you Oh yeah you don't know what to do or well, maybe I'm singing about you you know 